Okay, modelers, you see here in front of you a stick figure representation of a proposed landing gear system for the new Avios Hobby King Grumman HU16 Albatross. The stock model does not come with any landing gear system at all, it's just a float plane. I took on the challenge to design a system that just about anybody could replicate with some basic tools and uh, some basic modeling knowledge. I 3D printed some links that represent a stick figure that I drew in the CAD system that I think would work just so that I could prove it out in hardware. There's supposed to be, or there will be, a 90 degree retract system in the wing. You see here, and the wheel has to tuck up inside the fuselage here. This stick figure representation is reasonably close to the full scale aircraft. The full scale aircraft has two actuators to drive the unit into the well of the fuselage. One of them is here, attached in this fashion, and drags this link in this direction. And there's another one on this leg that cracks the knuckle. Because the knuckle has to be cracked first and get beyond over center, and then the actuator starts to drag the landing gear up. Now that's going to be a little difficult to accomplish on this model, but I'm going to attack it this way. The 90 degree retract will be able to pull the landing gear up quite a ways. As you see here, the landing gear will go up to about 90 degrees, and that's as far as it'll go. It will not tuck in the rest of the way. What I will need is some sort of mechanism that will draw the wheel in through this link into the fuselage. Let's watch that again. Regular 90 degree unit will start the rotation and pull the landing gear up as far as it can. And then some other mechanism will pull the landing gear in the rest of the way. In the opposite direction, I may need to have something crack this knuckle, push it out a little bit before this landing gear starts to remove the, the landing gear unit starts to move the landing gear down. I think I've got a scheme for that and I will be showing it to you in the near future. Back to the CAD machine to do the rest of the work.